funny man Steve Harvey is the proud owner of a stunning mansion located in one of Atlanta's finest neighborhoods. He purchased the property, which was once owned by movie mogul Tyler Perry in 2020 for $15 million. Boasting seven bedrooms and 9.5 bathrooms throughout, the interiors are full of several formal and informal living spaces, as well as a castle-like design based on the Palace of Versailles. Outside on the 17-acre grounds, you'll find countless manicured lawns and gardens, as well as a massive 70,000 gallon infinity pool with a painting on the bottom, light a tennis court, and more. Some of the other features in the Harvey Mansion include a two-level library, movie theater, indoor pool, and underground ballroom. A quick look at the property and we can see why Steve and his family settled down here. Not to mention the 35,000 square feet of space provides more than enough room for Steve, his wife Marjorie, and their combined seven children to have their own personal space. The main mansion isn't enough, additional structures including a guest house offer up even more options. In 2020, Steve shelled out $15 million for his current family mansion located in the elite Buckhead neighborhood of Atlanta, Georgia. The walls of this palace will never be short of a laugh considering it was also once home to fellow comedian and actor Tyler Perry. Not to mention both of these stars have rags to riches stories to tell, having both lived in their cars at some point before making it big. Well, this particular residence just shows the world that you've made it. Perry offloaded the opulent home in 2016 for 17 $5 million after it sat on the market with a price tag of $25 million for two years. During Perry's time living here, he poured millions of dollars into renovating the mansion further. Either way, when it sold, the property made real estate news as the most expensive home sale in Atlanta history. So what makes this mansion so insane? Actually, the question is, what doesn't? First of all, the home sits on a whopping 17 acres of land with manicured grounds, while inside the home covers 35000 square feet of space. Once you get past the gates and up the hulking flight of stone stairs out front, the foyer is about as massive as they get, featuring twin curved staircases, soaring ceilings, chandelier, columns, and polished marble floors. The mansion boasts seven bedrooms and 9.5 baths, which can be expected from a property so large. And considering Steve and Marjorie have seven kids, extra space must come in handy, even though they don't all live at home anymore. Of course, the Harvey Mansion boasts multiple formal living areas, including a huge formal living room with double height ceilings and a full wall of windows and another sprawling two-level great room with wood beam ceilings, plush lounge areas, more walls of windows and French doors, as well as stairs to an upper level loft. One of my favorite rooms here is the stylish library, which follows a bold black and red color scheme, my favorite, with zebra accents and winding iron stairs to a gallery level. Of course, what is an epic mansion without a proper kitchen? This one's decked out in wood and all the best in appliances. There's also another study with a fireplace, a games room, and a cavernous entertainment lounge. This room actually looks kind of like a medieval castle. Honestly, the spaces in this mansion are never ending. In addition to all of that, Steve's French provincial style main mansion boasts a state-of-the-art home theater, an indoor swimming pool, a wine cellar, and an underground ballroom with catering kitchen. All of that and we haven't even seen the grounds. Among all of the perfect lawns and trimmed gardens, out back there's a 70,000 gallon infinity edge pool and spa with water water features. This pool is absolutely huge. If that's not enough, there's a lit tennis court, a fitness center, and a separate spa. The estate also has a guest house, guard house, and additional caretaker suite, all of which are protected with a top-notch security system. And in case of an emergency, Steve's property has a backup generator that can power the entire estate. Before Steve and his family moved into this hulking home, they still lived in Georgia, but in the area of Sandy Springs, also in Atlanta. He purchased this home back in 2010 for $3.4 million, and he and his wife enjoyed the family mansion for a handful of years. This mansion spanned 9,258 square feet of space, and while that's massive in size, it's still only a fraction of Steve's current home. Inside this place, there were six beds, eight baths, and a handful of other luxury rooms. Some features included an upscale cigar cabinet, massive grill, mini golf course, and infinity pool with waterfall. It was also said the home was full of gold
gold trimmed velvet furniture at one point and at a movie theater and full bar too. But that's really all we know about this place. Finally, at one point, Steve's talk show was set up in Chicago. So the Windy City was where he used to spend his time. Around 2012 to 2013, Steve lived in a penthouse on the 88th floor of the Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago, Illinois. And it was quite the fancy apartment. It wasn't until 2018 that the place was sold. And when it was first listed, it was almost $10 million. Listing materials describe the unit as the most glamorous half floor penthouse suite with panoramic views, 16 foot ceilings, three fireplaces, and much more. Some claim that Steve purchased the penthouse while other sources report he was renting for a massive 25K per month. Either way, his condo at the Trump spanned 5,500 square feet of living space with three beds and 5.5 baths. The upscale state-of-the-art kitchen had designer name appliances from Wolf, his Sub-Zero, and more, along with a butler's pantry. And that in combination with the living areas made this apartment perfect for entertaining. Steve's penthouse also had a luxurious master bed and bath, large walk-in closets throughout, and a separate jacuzzi room. The five-star hotel amenities residents had access to, including the spa Trump, a 75-foot heated swimming pool, room service, state-of-the-art fitness center, and indoor parking. Not to mention the penthouses had perfect views of the Chicago River and the city. Well, after looking at a few of Steve's homes, I think that brings this house tour to a close. Steve Harvey's mansion in Atlanta stands as a testament to his immense success and unique taste. Nestled within the lush surroundings of the exclusive Buckhead suburb, the grand estate mirrors Harvey's larger-than-life persona. Its opulent features from the soaring ceilings to the meticulously designed interiors offer a glimpse into the comedian's lavish lifestyle. The mansion not only serves as a luxury residence, but also a symbol of Harvey's remarkable journey from humble beginnings to becoming a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. As he continues to make audiences laugh and inspire with his accomplishments, his Atlanta mansion remains a tangible representation of his achievements and a reflection of his personal style. Before we go though, answer this question for me. Would you be more excited about a 70,000 gallon swimming pool at your home or about a fully equipped gym and a sports court? I'd be taking the pool, but let me know your preference down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you want to stay tuned for another tour, then watch out for this look into the properties of Tyler Perry coming up next. Bye. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Tyler Perry isn't exactly known for having subtle tastes when it comes to his real estate portfolio. This multi-talented actor, director, screenwriter, and producer has bought and sold a handful of opulent estates over the years, especially in Los Angeles and Atlanta, where his epic Tyler Perry Studios is also located. Considering Tyler is worth an estimated $1 billion he has invested some of that quite wisely in properties with a story to tell, reclaiming land with ties to slavery and racial injustice in the process. While his dream mansion in Atlanta near his custom studio has been in the works for a few years now, perfection does take time, and in the meanwhile, he's called a few other stunning places home too. While Tyler Perry is massively successful today with dozens of movies and eight TV shows on his resume, he didn't have the happiest upbringing to start. Reportedly, his birth name is from Emmett Perry Jr., was named after a father who was abusive and, as he would later find out, was not his real dad, so he changed his name. Tyler was born in New Orleans in 1969 in this three-bedroom home located on Barone Street. The star survived a traumatic childhood full of abuse at the hands of his guardians, even though his mother attempted to keep him safe. Looking at the home Tyler once lived in during his childhood, we can see it's now fully renovated and likely looks like a completely different place. Interior photos from when the house was last up for sale show it was remodeled and expanded by the last owner, who actually bought the property from the Perry family in 2013 for just under $150,000. Along with a reconfigured layout in certain common areas like the hallway, there's also an all-new kitchen with marble countertops, and the home now even boasts solar paneling on the roof. 
A swing still hangs from the front porch, overlooking the front garden, which makes the petite home look charming. In 2004, Tyler described in an interview how he would often look out of the front window of his house in New Orleans at the mansions two blocks north, while two blocks south were the projects, the territory of gangs, drugs, and crime. Being poised between the mansions and poverty became my metaphor for life, he said. Tyler Perry's current home is reportedly still in the works as it has been for some years now. He bought 1,200 acres of land, and it was reported by TMZ back in 2018 that construction on the mega mansion had begun, with the abode being built in a Gilded Age style. Conveniently for Tyler, this dream home is also only 32 minutes from his sprawling 300 plus acre film studios, so the perfect commute to work. Reports say his mansion will span 35,000 square feet of living space once it's complete, and from aerial views, we can truly see how massive it is. Although we don't know what the home's interiors are looking like just yet, he has plans to turn the property into an organic farm. He wants his son Amon, who he shares with ex-partner Gilila Bekele, to have an appreciation for land, nature, and animals. And reportedly, they'll have horses and other animals on the farm. Alongside the hulking main house, there also sits a second, smaller structure that could be used as a guest house on Tyler's property. There is even an airport runway which is convenient for the multi-talented star who has in the past once possessed a pilot's license. In October 2019, the hardworking writer posted a video to his social media from his home in LA, it seems, to advertise the fact he'd been live tweeting from the home through his show, The Oval, which he wrote, directed, and produced. That same year, he had given a peek into his kitchen, which is also assumed to be in the LA home, that he stayed in from time to time while the Atlanta mansion is being constructed. This kitchen, which we got a peek at, is where he was displaying his Oscar trophy at the time when he took home the Jean Herschelt Humanitarian Award. In early 2020, Tyler showed fans he was continuing to be hard at work from home while posting a photo in his writer's room, complete with huge stone fireplace and a roaring fire, leather armchairs, and cozy rug. Tyler Perry Studios is 330 acres in the heart of Atlanta. This was all Fort McPherson Army Base. Nearby his mega mansion in Atlanta is another one of Tyler's big creations, Tyler Perry Studios. In 2015, Tyler announced plans to expand his studio in Atlanta by acquiring Fort McPherson, which served as a Confederate Army base during the American Civil War, and expand is exactly what he did. On his new, sprawling 330-acre studio complex in Atlanta, Georgia, you can visit the White House, a classic southern mansion, a lake cabin, and more within minutes. Previously, Tyler's studio was already home to the production of more than 15 movies and over 800 episodes of his TV shows. These days, his studio complex is said to be larger than Disney, Paramount, Sony, and Warner Studios combined. He bought the massive lot for over $30 million after outgrowing the smaller studio only six miles away, and about $250 million more went into restoring the site's 19th century homes and and building the rest. Tyler Perry Studios has 12 state-of-the-art sound stages, each named after an African-American in the entertainment industry, production offices, and set. One of the most impressive being a three-story stucco replica of the White House, which Tyler made sure was built to scale. He's using this as a set for his BET drama, The Oval, so you already know that there is even an Oval Office film set inside. There are many other impressive sets on the huge complex, like a charming historic residential district from the south, trailer park, county jail, bank, lakeside cabin, posh theater, farmhouse, chapel, commercial jet, and much more. These are going to act as scenes for Tyler's present and future films and other production companies. Tyler Perry Studios also has 200 extra acres of green space, and Tyler says he's not even close to being finished. He wants to put that land to use. He said, I'm looking to create a six-lane highway, or he might want a European-style city, adding, you know, something with winding cobblestone streets, we could use it for Paris. 
Back in 2007, Tyler bought a 17-acre estate in the Paces neighborhood of Buckhead, Atlanta. Paces is said to be the most affluent area in Atlanta with home prices even reaching upwards of $20 million. Tyler lived in this palace with his family up until 2016 and when he sold it for a massive $17.5 million, it was the biggest sale ever for a private residence in the Georgia capital at the time. The mansion was resold in 2018, this time for $21 million and with the grandeur and size of this place, it's not hard to see why. Tyler's previous Atlanta estate was 34,688 square feet of living space, but then again, his dream mansion that's in construction will be slightly bigger. This property featured seven beds and 14 baths and was designed as a European style villa with marble floors and huge columns, among other opulent details. Upon entering the home, the foyer has a grand dual staircase with giant chandelier in the middle and looks like something out of a fairy tale. This mansion had a great room, which boasted double height ceilings and glass doors leading out to a balcony. Attached to the chef's kitchen, there's also a more casual living room with vaulted ceilings, a marble fireplace, and open staircase leading to the upper level. The formal dining room in Tyler's former home walks out to the upper balcony and is decorated with wall paintings. There's also a wood paneled study or library and another dramatic library slash office with black chandelier, red accents, and a zebra rug. While also on this level, there's a games room with a wet bar. The master suite's spacious and has a private balcony entry, offering views from all angles. One of the extra bedrooms used to be a spa, so it has a freestanding tub, while a vintage paint job on the walls here makes the room feel medieval. There's also a medieval feel in the mansion's home movie theater, where vaulted ceilings here and in the attached lounge resemble an old cathedral. The theater has seating for 18 and is located on the lower level of the house. Apparently, there's also a resistance pool on this level. Other highlights include a wine cellar, sauna, generator system that can power the whole estate, and a garden. Guardhouse. Out back, you'll find some guest quarters and layered landscaping, while underneath the tennis courts, there is an indoor ballroom complete with catering kitchen and restrooms. Also on the property, there's a massive 70,000 gallon infinity pool, all of which is protected by a top of the line security setup and imposing gates. After checking out where Tyler Perry calls home, including what we know about his Atlanta mansion that's being built and his studios, that'll bring today's tour to a close. But before we leave, answer me this. If you could build your own studio and create any movies or shows you wanted, what would be some of the dream sets you would want to create there? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on your notifications. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat 